Welcome to this video playing Scott. Okay, it's got no name in there. Scott, this is a German card game actually. I'm not sure if he's referring to that with this Italian flag. Okay, I have a one game history against this guy of a draw. Okay, um, Bishop g4. Yep, <laughs> it's a rare, rare line that that he played. How do you play that knight a5 or do you castle first? I always forget that. I think you castle first. Mm. Yeah, this a4 in this particular position is one of those lines that uh, you look at like once in your life and then nobody plays it ever and <laughs> and then you get it <laughs> and you have forgotten everything. It's not um, a super dangerous variation but it's not, not bad. White is of course following normal, normal uh, schemes of development so it cannot be cannot be that bad or bad at all I mean let's see some play on the queen side try to get this this bishop traded that's that is why I put it out on g5 now on h6 bishop on e7 it's very often a passive piece so trying to get it get it away from the board Get it off the board to be to phrase it uh, a little bit more fittingly. Yeah, what to do? Takes here rook b8 something. Oh, that's okay for rook b2 maybe. A knight on a5 is at least controlling c4 and sometimes can jump into b3, which he prevented. Okay. Queen c7, maybe knight e3, knight f6 is okay. Yep, I think. Hmm, I didn't expect that move. I thought this was a little bit, a little bit, a little bit much, but um, yeah, it is entirely logical, of course. Okay. Yeah, just trying to ease my defense with trades. Check. Okay, where to where to put it on d7 or yeah, probably. Can put the bishop on a2 now. Yeah, I really managed to activate this bishop. Great stuff. <laughs> Wow, it's not so easy. It was a nice position and this looks a little bit like I have screwed it up. If he goes to a2, I play c4. I just have to jettison this pawn. There is no way around that. <laughs> not having him stay on this diagonal, diagonal absolutely not. don't know what to make of this shouldn't be too bad right I mean I'm attacking quite a number of pawns and his king is weak unless um, I'm kind of getting clubbered here on the king side somehow what I don't see and I should be okay I was thinking h6 is a move here. What What is he threatening actually? I don't see it. Knight e7, not even that is a threat. I can take here, right? Hmm. 
he wants to go h6 or i don't i don't i don't understand that i really don't h6 i have knight e6 i think and this move is an issue anyway is there is there some trick that i don't see uh, i don't know queen takes g5 is is quite quite an idea now Feels like he rushed things a little bit there. This looks very nice. Hmm. Queen e5, still queen g5. Yeah. Check. That's straight queens, yeah. That, that's really Check. a couple of pawns. How many pawns? I'm one pawn up, yeah, but e4 hangs. And um, Check. I don't really see how he defends his weaknesses. F3, I just take, and knight comes to e4 Check. as well. Okay, going up, right? We don't want a passive defense or a passive um, play. Not defending here, really. So here, yes. Knight b7, knight e4. Or I can also go to c4. Yeah, it's okay. Check. Mm, I didn't really see that he takes a6 as well. That was bad. Oh, why did I allow that? Very bad technical Check. play. That was bad. It's too, this is the, pawn, the pawn count is too low here, probably, to win. The only idea is some, some kind of tactical, like knight g6 and push pawns. Check. Playing for the for the quick passer, let's say. If I go to c4, king e5, h3, knight e8, h2 is not catching it. So let's try that. Time warning. Now, if I take c3 now, then he is catching it. So. Let's do it. Let's do this. Check. Take c3. Ninety six is coming. Uh, and f six ninety four. So he has he has defended this. Yeah, I'm I'm just playing this terribly bad. Yeah. Ugh. It was, a, of course, a completely winning knight end game. I, I gave away c5 and a6. Tja. Very, very bad. Check. Game wrong. Yeah, he should never get out of this. 
Check. So. Check. So what should I Check. do? I mean, this is okay. Check. I just, I, I just didn't see that that I'm losing both pawns. I mean, I even have the better king here. King e5. They, they all win. This is, this is just so stupid. Sometimes. I'm not sure that I can win here anymore. Probably not. But it's so easy. Yeah? You can play here and and just not give away both. This is the problem. You shouldn't give away both pawns. If I keep the A pawn, I've got A, A pawn and H pawn. And this is going to win every time because they are so far away that uh, white can never stop them. And um, yeah, and also there was, there was this move, which is... Check. Just winning all the pawns. Yeah, there was an interesting, interesting middle game where um, I really didn't know how to how to assess this. Check. Here, yeah, here I felt felt kind of bad, but this is this here is not um, leading to anything. Knight e three is much better. After this. Quite, quite clearly in good shape. I can take, and here he's running out of ideas. While I'm, I'm just having the better structure. And h5 is basically, this is basically giving the game away. But I simply didn't take, simply didn't take this pretty, um, pretty generous gift. Yeah, what can you do? Thanks for watching.